Hi, my name is Andy Vanderzeg. I'm a research scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada in Ottawa. Uh, I'd first like to acknowledge all my co-authors um, and colleagues who worked on this project uh, with me. Um, and the, the goal of the project was to look at the potential for two types of manure treatment to reduce methane emissions. So the two treatments were, first of all, solid liquid separation with a screw press, and the second one is anaerobic digestion. So solid liquid separation with the screw press is uh, appealing to dairy farmers because they can produce their own bedding, which alleviates the need to purchase bedding. And anaerobic digesters are of interest because they can produce energy uh, that can be used and sold. So at the same time, as there's those management benefits, there's also uh, the potential for these two practices to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, in particular by reducing methane emissions from uh, manure storage. And methane has a high global warming potential, which uh, makes any reduction uh, have a high impact on the carbon footprint. So the two uh, farms that we used for this research were um, Farm A, which had a screw press separator and about 150 milking cows, and Farm B, which had a 1,500 cubic meter uh, continuously stirred anaerobic digester that um, treated the manure from the 120 or so milking cows plus replacement animals, as well as co-feed stocks from the food processing industry. So uh, manure sampling at each of those farms was done, first of all, uh, at the end of the barn where the manure was collected. So that was the raw manure, and composite samples were taken from that stage. Then at Farm A, um, liquid that was coming out of the solid liquid separator was sampled. And at Farm B, liquid that was coming out of the digester was also sampled. So each of those samples was done in triplicate, and then uh, they were subjected to a biochemical methane potential assay, which is a lab-based method that um, incubates the manure or digestate sample under optimal conditions for methane production. So in this case, we were using 500 milliliter bottles that were incubated at 37 degrees and we continued the incubation for 202 days. And uh, each of those bottles was initially um, inoculated with um, some material that had um, a lot of methanogens in it, which would ensure that methane production would be optimal. So looking at uh, the results now, you can see a panel of figures. Uh, figure one shows the methane potential, which is called um, B0. Uh, that's provided by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change um, as a default value, which is this black bar, which is 240 liters of methane per kilogram of volatile solids. And in comparison to that, we have the gray bars, which are each of the times we took samples from uh, the two farms. And the whiskers are the standard deviation. So generally, we have really good agreement between the raw manure methane potential at each of our farms with the IPCC guidance. So the first question then is, what was the effect of solid liquid separation? Well, the first and most obvious effect is that by passing the raw manure through a screw press, the liquid fraction had substantially less solids remaining. So in our case, we saw a 76% reduction of total solids. And then a slightly less obvious effect was that the total solids had a lower volatile solids fraction than the raw manure. And lastly, the methane potential of that uh, separated liquid had a reduced methane potential. So what we're looking at here in figure two on the left is a time series of methane production in those in incubated bottles, which we collected. The solid lines are the separated liquid and the dashed lines are the raw manure from the same farm, incubated at the same time over 202 days. And you can see that initially there's a very rapid met, uh, increase in methane produced and over time, that starts to decline and stabilize at an ultimate methane potential. Taking those final points and putting them onto uh, this bar graph, we can see that the solid um, white bars, which are the separated liquid, had significantly lower uh, methane potential than the raw manure from the same farm. And that was about a 10% decrease. So that means that the methane potential of those volatile solids remaining in the separated liquid fraction have a lower methane potential than volatile solids in raw manure, which is an interesting and unexpected result. Um, in figure four now, moving on to the effect of anaerobic digestion, 
we can see again a time series of methane production over 202 days. The dashed lines are the raw manure and the solid lines are the digestate sampled on different days. And taking those final values on 200, after 202 days and plotting them as bars here with uh, standard deviations, we can see that the black bars, which are the digestate, are significantly lower than the raw manure. So this indicates that the digestate has a much lower methane potential, or B0, than the raw manure did. Combine that with a reduction in volatile solids in the digestate, and you get a large um, reduction in methane potential when that digestate is stored in a storage tank. So three main points to conclude on. The first is that the B0 of our raw manure samples were uh, consistent with the IPCC default value. The second point is that by separating liquid and solid fractions through a screw press, we see a reduction in the methane potential by 81% uh, owing to three synergistic effects. First, a 76% reduction of total solids in the separated liquid and a 10% reduction of volatile solids per unit of total solids. And finally, an 11% decrease in the B0 of that uh, digestate, or sorry, of that separated liquid. Um, and finally, looking at anaerobic digestion, we see um, a 59% reduction in methane potential because of a 40% reduction in volatile solids content and a 32% reduction in B0. So one of the really interesting things that I want to highlight here is that um, it's not just about the amount of solids remaining, it's also about the methane potential. And we see that there's a different B0 associated with the manure at different stages of these treatment uh, processes. And both separation and digestion reduces the B0 as well as reducing the volatile solids content. So thank you.